What was Donald's mother doing here? We were having a chat. About what? A third party is truly required, Father. No, sister. No third party. You and me are due for a talk. You have got to stop this campaign against me. You can stop it at any time. Ah. Confess and be done. You're attempting to destroy my reputation. But the end result of all this is going to be your own, not mine. What are you doing in this school? I'm trying to do good. Or even more to the point, what are you doing in the priesthood? You are single-handedly holding this school and this parish back. From what? Progressive education and a welcoming church. You can't distract me, Father Finn. This isn't about my behavior. It's about yours. It's about your unfounded suspicions. That's right. I have suspicions. But you know what I haven't understood about all this? Why do you suspect me? What have I done? You gave the boy wine to drink, and you let him take the blame. That's completely untrue. Did you, spoke, did you speak to the caretaker, Mr. McGinn? All McGinn knows is that the boy drank wine. He doesn't know how he came to drink it. Did his mother have anything to add to that? No. So that's it. There's nothing there. I'm not satisfied. Well, if you're not satisfied, ask the boy. No! He'd protect you. That's what he's been doing. Oh, and why would he do that? Because you seduced him. You're insane. You've got it in your head. I've corrupted this child. I've been giving him money, and nothing I say will change that. That's right. But correct me if I'm wrong. This has nothing to do with the wine, does it? Not really. You've had a fundamental mistrust of me before this incident. It was you that warned Sister James to be on the lookout, was it? That's true. So you admit it? Certainly. Why? I know people. That's not good enough. It won't have to be. How so? You will tell me what you've done. Oh, I will? Yes. I'm not one of your truant boys. Sister James is convinced I'm innocent. So you talk with Sister Jane. Of course you talk with Sister Jane. Did you know that Donald's father beats him? Yes. And might not that account for the odd behavior Sister James has noticed in the boy? It might. Then what is it? What? What have you seen? What have you heard that has convinced you so thoroughly? What does it matter? I don't know. Okay. On the first day of the school year, I saw you touch William Lundy's wrist, and I saw him pull away. That's all. That's all? That's nothing. What, what are you doing now? I'm getting ready to ride. I get too flustered when, I, when I'm trying to remember important conversations, and this might be one of them. When I talk to the bishop and tell him why you have to be removed as principal of this school. This morning, before I spoke with Mrs. Mother, I took the precaution of contacting the last parish to which you were assigned. What did he say? Who? The pastor. I did not speak to the pastor. You I spoke to a nun. You should have spoken to the pastor. I spoke to a nun. Sister, the church is very clear. That's not the proper room to have taken. You should have gone through the pastor. Why? Did you have an understanding, you and he? Father Glenn, you have a history. You have no right to go rummaging through my past. This is your third parish in five years. I am a good priest, and there is nothing in my record to suggest otherwise. You will go after another child and another until you are stopped. Call the pastor and find out why. It was perfectly innocent. I won't call the pastor. What none of you do? I won't say. You have not the slightest proof of anything. But I have my certainty. And on with that, I will go to your last parish or the one before that, Father. I will find a parent. Trust me, I will. A parent who doesn't know that you're still working with children. And once I do that, you will be exposed. <coughs> you may be even attacked, metaphorically or otherwise. You have no right to outside the church. You are a member of a religious order. You've taken vows, obedience being one. You answer to us. You have no right to go outside the church. I will go outside the church. If that's what needs to be done, though the door should shut behind me. I will do what's necessary, even if it means I'm damned to hell. You should understand that, or you will mistake me. Now, did you give Donald Mother wine to drink? Have you never done anything wrong? I have. Mortal sin? Yes, and I confessed it. Did you give Donald Mother wine to drink? Whatever I have done, I have placed on the healing hands of my confessor, as have you. We are the same. Oh, no, we are not the same. A dog that bites is a dog that bites. I do not do wrong and justify it. I admit, desist, and take my medicine. Did you 
give Dr. Muller wine to drink? No. Mental reservation? No. You lie. You won't leave my office, I will. And once I go, I will not stop. Wait. You will request a transfer from this parish. You will take a leave of absence until one is granted. And do what for the love of God? My life is here. Don't! Please. Are we people? Am I a person flesh and blood like you? Or are we merely ideas and convictions? I can't say everything. Do you understand there are things I cannot say? Even if you can't imagine the explanation, sister, remember there are circumstances beyond your knowledge. Even if you feel a certainty, an emotion, it's just an emotion, not a feeling. It's a fact. On behalf of my life's work, I appeal to you in the spirit of charity. You must behave responsibly. I put myself in your hands. I don't want you. My reputation is at stake. You can preserve your reputation. If you say these things, I wouldn't be able to do my work in the community. Your work in the community should be discontinued. You leave me with nothing. That's not true. It's Dr. Muller who has nothing, and you took full advantage of that. I haven't done anything wrong. I care about that boy. Because you smile at him? Because you sympathize with him? Because you talk to him as if you two were the same? That child needed a friend. You are a cheat. The warm feeling you experienced when that boy looked at you with trust was not the sensation of virtue. It can be gotten by a drunkard from his top rum. You are a disgrace to the collar. And the only reason you haven't been kicked out of this church is because of the decline in vocation. Oh, I can fight you. You will lose. You can't know that. I know. Where's your compassion? Nowhere you can get at me. Stay here. Compose yourself. Use the phone if you like. I have no sympathy for you, Father. I know you're invulnerable to true regret. And cut your hair. Father Benjamin Flynn of St. Nicholas's Parish. I need to speak to the bishop about a matter. Yes. Yes. 915? That's correct. Thank you very much. 